well, gate preparation is hard, but the harder part is to start with it. With which subject I should start? How should be my daily routine when I am starting so that I don't fall behind? Well, I will cover all these things in this video for a freshie, for a second or a third year student, and for someone who is a dropper as well. If you are thinking that how should I make a fresh start to get out of the best thing, then this is the right place. And I will covering all the things no matter what is your preparation level right now. So don't miss this video till the end. Now, without any delay, I will directly jump into the solution. If you are a freshie, then you have a lot of time right now. So invest all the time, mostly to understand the subjects, understand the fundamentals as deeply as possible. If you are wondering that how to choose a subject, well, at this point, you should choose the subject based on two things. Gate importance is the first thing, the first priority. The second thing is the semester importance. Yes, because why not to crack the semester as well like me? I cracked gate with AIR 31 and semester with a 9.2 CGPA. Now, for if you are a mechanical engineering student, for example, if you are studying in your first year, maybe either engineering mechanics or basic thermodynamics or basic fluid mechanics can be the subject which is currently being covered in your semester and which has a very high significance in gate examination also. After choosing the subject, you are wondering that with which source I should start with. Prefer studying from a very detailed NPTE lecture or from a very good book and obviously if you have a very good professor in your college, then don't miss a single class. If you are wondering that, okay, tell me specific books and lecture, then go to this playlist where I have explained in detail the free lectures and the best books which GATE AIR 31 have prepared with. After the sources, now from where you should practice? The answer is that the subjective questions. What is he even talking about GATE? Because GATE is all about MCQ, MSQ and NAT. Well, yes, I am talking about GATE and believe me, Subjective questions are your best friend when you are learning to think, when you are learning the approaches. If you compare two students, Suresh and Ramesh, Suresh who has solved a lot of subjective questions and Ramesh who has not solved a single subjective question and he believes I should only solve the MCQs for gate examination. You will see that Suresh can approach the questions much faster than Ramesh. So don't neglect the power of subjective <sighs> sorry don't neglect the power of subjective questions this is very important you can solve from those classical books that i have mentioned in those playlists you can solve from ese engineering subject engineering subjective engineering Sur engineering service examination subjective questions also those are also very good if you solve those now you can see now the gate level question are the subsets of those subjective questions. Now those will be like child's play for you. So this is the preparation strategy if you are starting. Now after you have solved the subjective questions, you should go to the PYQ. Yes, previous year questions for get and you will find those much easier. And if you have still done all these things, by the way, you have to do these things at least for one or two years till your start of the third year. Now, after that, what should I do? For that, now you should follow the strategy for a second or third year student. That is why if no matter in which situation you are right now, you should see the whole video, okay? By the way, if you are someone who doesn't care about cracking semester examination, like if you are studying in mechanical engineering, but if you want to appear at the gate for CSE, then all the things should be same for you. But only one thing should be defined that based on which things you should choose the subject. Now you don't have to care about the semester importance. You should care about the gate importance. And the next thing is that which is the easiest subject. Okay. So that you can actually try uh, finding out in uh, Quora or, or you can play with the subjects for one month. That which subject is seemingly easier for me. Now this is the complete thing for a freshie. Now, if you have upgraded to a second or third year student, but if you are still thinking, okay, I have studied mechanical engineering, 
a lot, but still I feel that I should make a strategic, I should make a structured start for my grade preparation. Now, what should be your approach? Now, here you can have two priorities. You are focused for a job, you need a job, either for a campus placement from a cash from a campus from a campus placement or from gate examination or you are someone who wants to join a higher study maybe abroad but gate is your backup to go for IISC so i will complete both of you okay i will cover both of you firstly if you are focused on job okay then how should you choose the subjects okay now here the things based on which you should choose the subject is the gate importance first Second is obviously the placement importance and the third is your preparation level. For example, you know that fluid machinery is a subject which has a very good importance in placements, but for GATE it is, I mean, okay importance, not very high importance. And you know that you haven't started with fluid machinery at all, okay, because you don't have that much knowledge, you should not start with fluid machinery right now. Now thermodynamics is also a subject which is very important for both placement and gate and you have a very good grip on the subject as well. That is why you should choose thermodynamics over fluid machinery right now. Okay, now what should be the sources? Unlike a first day student, don't touch a book right now because you don't have that much time. Go for good NPTEL lectures or any good free lecture or if you have that capability, then go for a paid coaching. I don't have any problem with that, any complaint with that, but don't go for books. Go for those lectures. Now for practice also, okay, unfortunately, if you haven't solved the subjective questions, this is not the right time to solve subjective questions. Neither it is the right time to wait for the test series that you will be thinking that, okay, right now let me solve the PYQs. And I will solve the test series at the end of my gate preparation journey. No. First thing is to go for the PYQs, obviously. But the moment you have completed with the PYQs, you should go for the test series. Yes, don't be afraid to appear with the test series because test series is not just to judge your marks, it's not just for practicing. Test series can make you learn new concepts. Test series can save your time. By test series, you can revise effectively how to do all these things. Check out this video where I have explained in detail, starting from which is the best test series to how to get the most out of a test series. So this is how you should practice. And most importantly, most importantly, most importantly, this is the thing for every one of you, for a freshie, for a second or third year, for a dropper as well. Make a mistake copy. What is the mistake copy right now? You are giving us jargon upon jargon. Okay. A mistake copy is a copy in which you will jot down the mistakes that you have committed in the test series or in your PIQs, starting from a fact that you did not know to a concept or an approach that you forgot during the time of a test series, maybe a formula. Okay, you have to write down all these things, not a, not a very in a very great detail, like you don't have to write the uh, paragraphs right in a very short manner but the most important part is to revise this thing every night before going to bed to revise this thing every night before going to bed should i repeat it again okay no so this is actually backed by science and by this thing you don't have to forcefully memorize all the formulas and the concepts those things will automatically be embedded in your brain you don't have to put so much concentration when you are revising. Just see. Just see with complete awareness. This is important. Just don't just, I mean, pages No. See with complete awareness. And maybe you are telling inside your mind that, okay, today I made this mistake. That day I, I made this mistake. So revise this copy from day one to the final day. That is this day. This is very important. Full copy. This copy will be increasing, right? The writings, the pages, the number of pages will be increasing day by day. You have to start with the first page every day. This point is very important. This works like magic. Everyone, whoever has tried this thing has told me that 
this have this have this has worked like a magic for him or her okay so please don't miss out with this thing. now if you are someone who wants to prepare with gate as well but you want to join an abroad university in higher study well unless someone who is preparing for placement now english is very important for you because in most universities they want at least a, a toefl if not a gre score right now okay so you have to go for the english preparation as well if you don't have that much grasp in english don't worry you don't have to invest in a paid english coaching class if you can't and if you can you can do that that is up to you but you can go to any good english channel to learn that how to improve your speaking skills how to improve your reading skills writing skills as well speaking reading sir, speaking reading writing and listening you should have these four skills see i don't also have that much fluency in english i also feel that iske baad kya bolu are yaar aisa hota hai okay so don't worry this is not that much hard but now right now how you should pick up the subjects if you are going for the higher studies well you should see that again get importance is the first priority the second priority is if you are someone again who cares about the semester then see that which subject is actually merging with the semester syllabus if you have someone if you are someone that who has the applied thermodynamics in this semester then go for thermodynamics mainly okay because thermodynamics is used in applied thermodynamics and thermodynamics is very important for gate as well and if you don't care about the semester then start with the subject which is very easier for you and other than all these things everything will remain same for you starting from the source of study to the source of practice okay and finally if you are a dropper now this is the most critical zone now what do you mean by a dropper that is if you are doing a 9 to 5 job then maybe it is very hectic for you to go for a strategic or a structured gate preparation and if you have 24 into 7 for just to prepare for gate then you are in a green zone so firstly if you have 24 into 7 then your approach should be same as someone who is studying in in his or her first year but now you should choose the subject based on the gate importance secondly the subject that is easiest for you because now you are a dropper that means you have a pre experience an experience for gate examination you have appeared for the gate examination that is why i am calling you a dropper then you know that this subject is easiest for me and start with that and you should attempt for the test series right now right now from this day don't make again the mistake that okay i will again study the things from the deep depth and then i will go for the test series no simultaneously practice with the test series and learn from the test series and study from the lectures and books okay now if you are someone who does not have a 24 into 7 because of his or her job or any other engagement yes you can have your personal life in our personal life we can have so many responsibilities other than job also because of which we can't dedicate that much time for anything like gate preparation but that does not mean that you have to fall back in your gate preparation journey first of all learn how to manage your job with your gate and for that i have made a separate video that how to manage your job or even if you are a fourth year college student how to manage your job or college with gate okay secondly how should you choose the subject now okay now you should choose the subject solely based on the gate importance okay because you don't have the luxury to choose the subject that i mean which is easier for me okay choose the subject for mechanical engineering you should choose first the manufacturing and the engineering mathematics complete that first because these two can cover from 29 to 35 marks so that is very important okay choose the subject like that and after that how should you practice you should solely practice with the poiqs and the test series and nothing else 
okay? And believe me, the most important part for you to design a unique strategy and that you can learn from this video, okay? Where I have talked about that how to build, build your own unique strategy. No matter at which stage you are, this, this applies for a fresh year as well, for a second or third year student as well, and for a dropper as well, okay? Now this covers all the things. Did you notice that unlike any YouTube channel throughout the uh, YouTube, who cares about the gate preparation, I, I, I never tell something like, hey, is go follow karlo, ye ho jai. I always tell that choose the subject by yourself. I never tell that, that start with fluid mechanics, start with thermodynamics, no. Based, I mean, based on your preparation, that would be actually difficult, okay? So you have to learn that I will not be fed everything, like I can't spoon feed you, okay? No one can spoon feed you, but they actually pretend that they can. And this is the disaster for you. You feel that, okay, he has cracked with gate AIR 31, and if he's telling that I should start with thermodynamics, then I must start with thermodynamics. No, everything depends on your own situation. And mostly that you can actually build your own strategy out of this video, out of the box, thinking out of the box. But this is something at which, I mean, from which you can refer to, okay? Because if you are a complete novice, and if you are a dropper who has nothing in his mind that how to start, totally unstructured everything, then you can refer to this video. I hope that, that this video has helped you. And if I want to bring a summary for you, if you are a freshie, then focus on studying and not just question solving. Start with the sources like good books, good deep NPTEL lectures. Practice with subjective questions, then go to PYQs. If you are a second or third year student, choose subject based on if you want to placement or if you want to higher study. If you, if you are in your placement, then two subjects based on gate importance and placement importance and the preparation level. If you are someone who does not care about the semester CGPA, then choose the subject based on gate importance and the level of preparation, which subject is easiest for you, that is the answer. Then practice with the test series and PYQs and nothing else, not subjective question. And for source, don't go for a book right now. For someone who is a dropper, if you have 24 into 7, pick the subject according to the gate importance and according to your comfort. Practice from the subjective questions, from the PYQs, and from the test series. For all of you, not all of you, for second and third year and for gate droppers, don't make the mistake of starting with the test series late. Start with the test series right now, okay? How to make the most out of a test series? For that, I have made already a separate video. And for a dropout who has a nine to five job, I would suggest you to first structure a particular routine. How to make your own routine that will help you to prepare for gate? For that, I have made a separate video, go to that. This is video, this video has ended. Now, before going to anywhere else, Please, if you feel that this guy is doing something for you, then yeah, subscribe kardona yaar. I know ki tum log karoge. And moreover, try to share this video if you feel that this video has something valuable. So I will meet you in all those videos that I have referred to and obviously in the next video. Until that, goodbye, take care and thank you.